Okay, so in this video we're going to look at check digits. And a check digit is a slightly more sophisticated way of performing error checking or calculation on a, um, a particular set of values. And a check digit will help us identify errors in a string of values that have, been, um, that have been transmitted from one computer to another or from one item to another. Now, where you'll most likely see check digits is in ISBN numbers. Um, an ISBN number, for reference, you'll find that on the back of a, uh, of a book. You'll find different sort of length of ISBN, check, uh, ISBN numbers. Most commonly, uh, 13 digit is the one that we use on uh, on most books these days. And there'll be some kind of method or calculation which is performed on those uh, values, which allows you to actually identify or see whether there are any errors in the um, in the number that's been sent from computer A across to computer B. It's a bit like a parity, but we use kind of a calculation. So one way that we could do this, if we had a really sort of simple um, way of doing, uh, of approaching this, is we could take like a number sequence and we could add all of those numbers together in the number sequence and then the two digits the which are arrived at, or three digits that are arrived at, however many there are, um, those, those added together become the overall check digit that we have there are problems with this it's not particularly sophisticated it's not particularly um, useful for us but it would provide us with some form of um, method of, of checking what values have been transmitted now um, the key thing with this is that computer A will generate a check digit and when it sends that check digit it's important that computer B understands the algorithm or the process involved in turning that check digit back into a value that it can then assess and see whether it's the correct one. So we're going to pretend we are computer um, A for a moment and we're going to send a value across to uh, computer B and we're going to follow a format for the ISBN 13 check digit system. So I'm going to grab a ISBN book uh, code here, which uh, for reference is the A-level computer science textbook, which if you are studying AQA, you will have that one potentially. Um, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not on any kind of uh, rate for that. So let's take our check digit here and let's see what we're going to do with it. Now, in this particular instance the check digit on this ISBN 13 number is a uh, is the value of 1 okay so this is our check digit value now it's calculated by um, as we work along this this particular number uh, alternating the multiplication of the numbers by 1 and then by 3 so if I write these out just so I've got a bit more room And then alternating, I'm going to multiply these by 1 and then by 3 all the way along. So you can see how the method applies. Now, there's no exam situation where you're expected to remember a method like this. But I'm showing you the full version of it because it's worth knowing it just so you can sort of use it for your own reference. So you have something that, you could, that you've seen working as an actual method. What we then do is we add these values up. So we've got 9 here, uh, 21 eight three four twenty one one twenty four three twenty seven five and then lastly three we then add all of these together to give us a total value so what i'm going to do just to save ourselves a moment of time and me frustrating myself with mental maths we're just going to add these up And we get an answer of 129. So how does this then relate to the check digit value of 1? Well, what you do is you perform the modulus uh, or find the, the highest divisible number um, in blocks of 10 that can be divided by this number. So in other words, for us, this would be 130 divided by 129. Now you could just do modulus on it and what you'll know is by understanding and looking at modulus previously in other in other video tutorials that modulus will return the remainder value so in this case it will fit exactly once but there will be a remainder of one and so that is the check digit 
for this particular ISBN number. Um, it's not error correction. It can't find and fix an error, but it can tell you whether the number has been accurately entered. And it's worth saying that with a, something like a check digit, it works particularly well when you've got things like barcodes. Um, so barcodes on packets in shops often get scrunched up and um, and like messed up, so it's difficult to sort of see the number. This would allow you to um, to sort of get around that issue because you can enter in the number manually and then you get an accurate uh, price for the product at the till.